Hi everyone. So if you have seen it already in the earlier days of the PTR, the Crusaders get one of those new sanctified powers that spawns these angels and they are actually destroying. So you can see me here playing a Z Crusader, so zero damage. This is just like a tanky character with nothing. And the angels are carrying this and I'm still doing 150 here, no problem. So this is uh, literally one run I've done. And this is after the update that has nerfed them, supposedly. But yeah, they're still blasting, it turns out. I made a video about the angels in the first version of the PDR, and now they were changed and they don't have this Heaven's Fury skill anymore and you can't buff them anymore. So you don't even have to stack any stats or something like that as you were supposed to do to make them like stronger. They are just like always there. They are invincible to damage now and they cast this Consecration and Condemn. And the strategy here is actually a bit different. So without this cooldown, you always want to resummon them exactly after the Condemn has gone off. This is like a charge up explosion around them that they cast after like maybe one, two seconds, and then it explodes three seconds later. So roughly every five seconds or so, you do a Falling Sword cast to summon new angels and repeat. And every time they do that, they do like, I don't know, like 5 to 10% of uh, Yellow's HP, for example. Uh, I kill the boss in like 4 minutes at the end. So, yeah, it's a solid solo 150 build, turns out. <laughs> you can see me here, chill progressing through this uh, Greater Rift. And this was without a conduit even, and I almost cleared it in time on like my initial my first run. So this is uh, how good it is right now. Now, I'm not really sure what to do about this. I expect that the angels will simply get like nerfed into the ground to be absolutely useless. The problem that the angels have is that they don't fit into like any build on the Crusader. So there's like no build that uses Falling Sword and it's just a horrible skill in general. So even with a seasonal theme power that kind of gives you a bit of like an extra bump, uh, I don't really see any build having the ability to include it. And if you do, then yeah, it has to be very, very strong because most of the time we give up some very important skill like Iron Skin or so. And almost every single Crusader build relies on stacking all the toughness they can to even have a chance to survive. So I'm not really sure how this will turn out in the end. I expect there's going to be some kind of nerf to those angels again. But potentially, considering how easy it was to clear this, I think they have to be nerfed quite significantly, like at least to like half or so of the damage to not make this uh, like 150 so easily achievable with like literally, you know, no investment. You can do this with Paragon Zero. On the other hand, it's just a season theme. So, you know, whatever problems it may cause is going to get phased out again after a few months anyway. So I'm not really too concerned about that. And Crusaders in general are also not looking super spicy next season. They have this new Condemn build of Halangs, but that's also not looking super powerful right now. It's kind of good, but nothing like extraordinary that yeah, I think it will not really lead to a Crusader being very popular with the way it is right now. So unless there's like some major buff to Akan that makes it like a kind of like an easy peasy solo 150 build. I don't really expect people will play Crusader that much besides the people that really want to try out the Phalanx. While it does feel weird to rely on those angels alone to clear the rift for you, you still do some stuff like pulling monsters together with the horse, with drawn quarter, so that's actually kind of fun. And it's not really that much different from like a typical pet build like Gargantion, Witch Doctor or so, in terms of playstyle. So you still do stuff and even though your character progression doesn't necessarily matter, it won't really be easy to just go through rift by rift and clear all the way to 150. So you still kind of want to open good rifts. You still kind of want to uh, like pull enemies together, get a conduit and all that stuff. And you have to see that those angels scale exactly with the greater rift tier. So basically it, at every step along the way, you have to do like a similarly good performance to actually clear it because they always deal the same damage. The Angels are literally the only sanctified power that actually does something for a Crusader. So there's the Fist of the Heavens thing, which is almost irrelevant. And then there is the Blast Hammer thing, which is like completely a joke. So if the Angels get nerfed, then Crusaders have literally nothing from the Season theme. And as I said, you don't really include the Angels in other builds. So the only way to really play with them is to stack a lot of cooldown stick a lot of like toughness so you can actually make large pulls and survive them and then put the angels exactly where you want. 
if you just include them in like a regular build right now, they won't really yeah, perform that well and they will not really be that noticeable. And if they get nerfed, then yeah, it's it's actually completely like non-season for Crusaders, I guess. Considering you have stuff like with light in the game that will clear solo 150 on like day three or so, I guess we don't actually have to be that concerned with the Crusader power. So this is my two cents about it. Unfortunately, we won't be able to test those angels again, I believe. So I think there's not going to be another PTR patch. So whatever is done to those angels, we don't know and we won't be able to see until the live server. But if nothing is done, then this is how that goes. I'm going to potentially make like a little defeat planner setup and stuff and showcase that before the season if we know the final patch notes and there is no mention of a nerf. Otherwise, you know, it's going to be sad times ahead for the Crusaders. So I'm going to leave here with this here. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to obviously cover more from the PTR. There's still a lot of stuff to talk about. So subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time.